Hello, my name is Dr Angela Thomas. I'm a consultant in a major children's hospital and also a mother. In both of these roles, the safety and well-being of children is of prime importance to me, and that is why I support fatallyflawed.org.uk. I urge you to watch this video and decide for yourself if socket covers are safe. Please bear in mind that this video is made by engineers. The sockets used are not connected to the mains, and under no circumstances should you try to repeat these demonstrations at home. This is a standard United Kingdom power socket of the type that has been in use since 1947. It's made to British standard 1363 and ever since it was first introduced it has had one very powerful feature which makes British sockets the safest sockets in the world. And that feature is that in the power connectors here there is actually a safety shutter specifically to prevent children poking things into it and that is automatically in place whenever a plug is not inserted. So only when we insert the plug do those lower holes become open but they're open behind the plug. If I just insert an earth pin in there you'll see what's happening. When the earth pin goes in the sockets here are revealed. Now I've got a little probe here. This socket is not connected to the mains. That would be dangerous. I'd kill myself in doing this demonstration if that were the case. So I'm going to take my little probe which is just using a battery, insert it into there. Now that's the neutral so we're not going to expect to see anything there. This one's the live pin. That's normally 230 volts and as you can see I'm making contact. But if I take that earth pin out no contact because the shutter is in place. Most people don't realize that these shutters exist and so if they have small children around they use these things, safety socket covers. This one is the type sold by Woolworths and B&Q and the idea is that it plugs in there and prevents the child having access. But as you've seen the child already was prevented from access by the internal shutters so no problem. Well yes there is a problem and the problem is that if we take this out and insert it upside down and as you can see it wasn't difficult to remove. A child could easily do that and then playing around, experimenting, puts it in upside down and we've now opened that so again we've exposed the child to 230 volts and that can easily kill a child. This is a different manufacturer socket. This one's actually made by MK and it uses an alternative method of opening the safety shutters which is also permitted by BS 1363. So in this case if I insert this earth pin you can see here that the shutters have not actually opened. If I poke around in here you'll see my light does not light up and the only way to actually insert something in here is for both of the pins to be inserted at precisely the same moment and then it opens and of course this would be the case with a real plug and then you can see that we've made contact here. So in this case you might think that even with a socket cover in place there is no danger. If you put the socket cover in upside down like this it cannot open the shutter. So what I'm going to do is put a couple of covers in here that one is made by IKEA and this one which is physically just about identical apart from the color is made by Mothercare and I want you to see what happens. If I go to here there's a very small hole but big enough to put a pin or a paper clip or something like that in and now we have exposed the live wire. This could kill a child. Exactly the same thing with the Mothercare version over here. I'll just put my probe into that wee hole and you will see it light up. We've touched the, uh, the live connection. So you could do that with a pin, a needle, paper clip, sorts of small objects that uh, are around in any home. So perfectly safe socket rendered unsafe by the use of a safety socket cover. I want to talk to you about this type of cover. This one is from Clipper Safe. I'm going to insert it as a child might uh, upside down and I'm just going to put a little bit of extra pressure on it so that you can see what happens if it's pushed not desperately hard, certainly uh, the sort of pressure that a slightly older child, you know, four or five year old might easily be able to apply. And as you can see the earth pin has simply snapped off. We'll just try that again so you can see. 
insert it upside down and a little bit of extra pressure and the earth pin snaps off. And of course this has once again made this socket uh, very dangerous. If I insert my probe in here you can see sockets are open. There we go. That one as well of course. And because the broken earth pins aren't particularly obvious to uh, the casual observer, these could sit in there and wait possibly a younger sibling coming along and uh, electrocuting themselves. In fact, if a child had done that, then he probably wouldn't uh, immediately want to own up to what he'd done, so may well not alert the parent but to what had happened. And whereas you might say an inverted socket cover would be reasonably obvious when a parent came along or an adult, just the broken earth pin might go unnoticed for a long time. So that's the clipper safe type. It's actually physically identical to that sold by John Lewis, and we've had exactly the same experience with the John Lewis ones. Not every one will snap in that way, but on the test we've done, at least half are liable to snap. I've now got a different view of the socket. And this is looking at it from what would normally be the underside. And I'm going to insert into here one of the IKEA or Mother Care types. This is the IKEA one. And I'm also, I've also got here a John Lewis type also sold under the Clipper Safe brand and also by Boots. And I'm just going to insert those both in here. And then I want you to watch what happens when I take my fingers off. And as you can see, they both pop up. And the reason for this is that the pins are actually rather short. In fact, almost all, if not all, safety socket covers are manufactured with short pins. And that means the pins do not properly engage with the contacts. Now, pins are shaped to make easy insertion into the contacts. And if the shaped part comes into contact only with the shaped part of the receptacle, then it just pushes it out. And that's the effect you see here. I'll just repeat that. Push them back in, and out they pop. And of course the result is that they're actually very, very easy to remove. Let's have a resume of what we have discussed. All plug-in safety socket covers, which are made for UK use and are intended to prevent children poking objects into sockets, fit the standard BS1363 flat pin socket. All BS1363 sockets already have internal safety shutters to prevent children poking objects into them, and this has been true since their introduction in 1947. Therefore, all UK plug-in safety socket covers have no practical value. However, all UK safety socket covers are, if inserted upside down, capable of defeating the inbuilt shutters in sockets, with the exception of MK sockets. Therefore, all are dangerous. In addition to this, the most popular socket cover types have additional design flaws leading to even greater danger. The types sold by Mother Care and IKEA render all sockets dangerous when inserted normally, as they leave space to insert a pin or paper clip, etc. Something not possible when no socket cover is present. All have shorter than standard power pins. In particular, this results in the Mother Care IKEA type and the John Lewis Boots and Clipper Safe type being prone to partially pop out of some sockets, making them very easy to remove by children, who can then experiment with inserting them upside down. The bottom line is, safety is designed into UK sockets. Plug-in covers reduce safety. Please visit our website at www.fatallyflawed.org.uk for further information. Thank you for watching.